Switchblades.tv presents Available at AssistedKnife.com RoadsideImports.com presents The Assembly of Boker Magnum Series You're going to need three uh, pieces of equipment You're going to need Boker Magnum Series Yourself The uh, .50 large coil spring And you're going to need a Torex T7 screwdriver, which you can get a whole set of them for about $4.99 down at Home Depot, which you'll have all the Torex set. Um, something like a little mini screwdriver. That's the one that I'm using in this video. Okay, first off, let's disassemble the knife. You're going to want to take out all the screws from the handle and then the pivot screw. Now that you got all the screws out, you're going to want to take out the top plate. Then you're going to take out the button plunger, the button spring, the blade itself, and the uh, blade stop. Okay, your first inclination is going to be to put the spring in the boot seat here, but do not do it. This is not how you assemble the knife. You take the blade itself and then insert the spring into the blade, and then you put it on the back of the handle. Now that you've put in the blade on, you're going to rotate it forward and then put the safety stop in now that you got the safety stop in you're going to put the uh, button spring in and then you're going to put the button plunger in and then you're going to put the safety on now it's time to put the uh, face plate back on, the top handle. Uh, you've got to make sure that you align everything. Make sure that the uh, button can be depressed still and that the safety still slides up and down. Put the pivot screws back in and then put the body screws in. Now you're going to want to test the uh, button, and you've probably over-tightened the screws too much, so you're going to have to back them out just a little bit, so that the button is able to be pressed. Now that you got the button working again, you want to close the folder, and then tighten it securely, with the body screws first, and the pivot screw last. Make sure you don't over-tighten the pivot screw, otherwise the safety will not be able to work, it'll get bunched up. So you want to adjust it accordingly so that the safety is still allowed to slide up and down. Now that you got it all working, uh, fire it five to six times and then adjust the pivot screw once again. You're going to want the pivot screw as tight as possible but still allow the safety to slide up and down. And that's it. You just assemble it in under five minutes. Available at AssistedKnife.com Got questions? I got answers. Email me at jv at roadsideimports.com.